This video I will be solving example 9.7 and practice problem 9.7 and this is on the request of a student who has specially requested to practice problem 9.7. So first example 9.7 using the phaser approach determine the current IT in the circuit described by the integral differential equation. So this is the integral differential equation and it is called integral differential because it has integration term and it also has differentiation term. Our approach would be to convert this time domain signal into phasor domain. And I hope you recall I have just reproduced some of the uh, formulas when it is Vm cos omega t phi in time domain we can write in phasor simply the magnitude and the angle. So this we will write 50 and angle 75. Then if we have the derivative then we write j omega of v or i whatever we have and sim similarly integral of v dt or i dt will be V or I at the top divided by J of A. So following this, now let's write the equation. That's 4 I phasor capital I, 8 into integration, 8 into integration we formula is V over J omega or I over J omega. So in our case it is I, so I over J omega. Then minus 3 di dt from here dv dt is j omega v therefore di dt would be j omega i so j omega i and this i have already told that the magnitude and the phase angle so this is in phasor form we'll now simplify And what we have done is simply just multiply this, these two, and these. And now from here we'll use a formula. Uh, okay, first of all we'll put the value of omega. Now if we compare these two, from here this is the standard form. So omega is two. So we'll plug in the values of omega in this equation. Omega is two. And so our equation will be. 4i plus 8i divided by j2 now, and this is minus 3j2i50. So we were here, we will now simplify it, and this is an important formula I'm sure you must have learned, but we'll follow this, and if there is a 1 over j, it can be written as minus j, and we can go through this. So 1 over j here, we'll, it, uh, we'll write it as minus j so, and taking the common now 4 so it's 4, four uh, sorry i is in everyone so we'll take i common remaining here is 4 8 divided by 2 is 4 and 1 over j will be minus j from this and then this is minus 6j 5075 and now we'll simplify. Simplifying this will be 4 minus j10 and 5 angle 50. So i will be 550 divided by this term. And in the basic level, it is better that we follow the teaching that is for the Vn, both terms have to be in the polar form. Now this is in rectangular form. We'll convert this into polar form. Converting into polar, we get this. And now we can easily divide the magnitude and subtract the angle. So dividing the magnitude, we get 4.65. And this minus 68, when goes up, it will become plus 68, plus 75, it will be 143.2 uh, degree. So this is I. Now I'll just start, uh, teach you a simple technique. If you have uh, already learned it, fine. Otherwise, let's use the calculator. You calculated, you have to uh, 
So put it in complex mode. Here it is already in complex mode, but let me just show you how to go to that. Mode switch. Two is for complex. Two for complex. Now we are in complex mode. And from here we can get the answer directly. So we'll go to this sign, division sign. Top is 50 angle 75. 50 fifth angle 75. And the denominator, come, press this, come down, 4J10. So 4 minus 10, and for J we write I, this I sign, 10 I. And now if we uh, press the equal sign, we get the answer. This is in the rectangular form, convert it into polar, shift and this complex to then we select R theta, that is the polar form, 3 equals, uh, this is the angle, if it is not in the form that we are conversant, we press SD. So now you can see it is 4.64 and angle 143. So you can do it directly also if your teacher allows. Okay, so that was the first part. And we'll convert this into now the time domain. And you know, the magnitude is here. Then we already had in the form of cos 2 omega. And the angle here is 143, pi. So we'll put 143. So this is the answer in time domain. Now the practice problem. Practice problem is uh, similar exactly. But here it is in terms of a voltage. And so what we do, we convert this into phasor form. And using this formula, you can see 2 dv dt. dv dt is j omega v. I think there is a step missing. So 2 j omega, how much is omega? 5 j omega v plus 5v plus 10 integral v dt will be v over j omega, that is v over j5. And this converted into phasor will be angle 50, uh, 50 angle minus 30. And from here, you can just manipulate, multiply this, divide this, you get this term, simplifying, taking common, and uh, v will be this magnitude divided by 5 plus j8. Convert this into polar, get this answer. And dividing, the answer is 5.3 angle minus 88. Here also you can use your calculator in complex mode to calculate from here to there. Okay, so now we can easily convert it into time domain. The magnitude is this, cos omega, T, that is cos 5t, and now our angle is minus 88, so minus 88. So this is the answer in time term. So I hope uh, you have been able to follow this. Let me know your feedback. Thank you.